So when you are higher, deeper, closer to the truth, and less veil, and less illusion, then you'll be able to help more people, yes or no? Hmm. Just the fact that you are higher, deeper, closer to the truth. So then you have this insight. Hmm? What means insight? Or this intuitive vision, or this right kind of thinking. Yes? That come from your... <coughs> That come from your purified mind. That's what it means when a person is advanced in yoga. Not like they become a, you know, a pretzel or something. They are advanced in yoga because they are more purified. Their mind is more bright. You know, the other day we talked about enlightened mind. So the mind is more shining. That means less... Um, Less um, resistance. Hmm? So when they have less resistance, and energy will be flowing naturally, because our nature is, we say Satchitananda is our nature is light, our nature is energy, our nature is pure, our nature is perfection, our nature is perfect health, our nature is perfect happiness. So everything else is just only hiding and blocking. And we talk about how it is blocking, is when the, the ego propensities, that means that attachment to the false self is strong, then at that time there will be blockage. Okay? And when there will be blockage, then what will happen? To the body-mind complex? When there will be blockage? Simple question. When the energy is blocking, then what will happen? You become sick. Thank you. So that means what? When the energy is blocking, that means you become disconnected, right? When you become disconnected from spirit, energy is blocking. And, um, and it can be also all over the place. Okay? When your mind is all over the place, then at that time you are spiritually unhealthy, you are mentally, emotionally unhealthy, and automatically when your, your spirit, your body and mind is unhealthy, automatically the body will be unhealthy. Okay? <coughs> 